r slash ask reddit what is something every junk drawer must have in order to be considered a proper junk drawer the thing that prevents you from closing the drawer a screw that looks too important to throw out but you have no idea where it came from assortment of single batteries keys for unknown locks Instructions for a product that either doesn't need instructions, like a fan, or that you don't even own anymore. Random chargers. What's that too? No one knows but we save it just in case we might need it again. Too many old pens, most of which don't even work, some of which are highlighters or broken pencil crayons. Stray rubber bands or paper clips. Loose batteries with questionable charge. A tiny plastic bag of spare hardware for that side table you assembled six years ago. A roll of masking slash painter's tape. A plastic part to something that's always been there and who knows where it is from. A couple mystery keys or keychains. Crumbs. Two loose thumbtacks and a pen lid that fits nothing. A dry sharpie. Edit, till my parents junk drawer that hasn't changed in 30 years is universal LMAO. Scissors. Bonus points if they have orange handles. That random Christmas decoration that was found way too late to be packed with the rest. Pens that don't work. Scotch tape so old it's yellow and fused unusable. Flathead screwdriver. Also, a random assortment of birthday candles. One of those lighters with the long neck that hasn't worked since the third time you used it. You check it every time you need a lighter and put it back in the drawer because maybe I'm doing it wrong. I found an old refrigerator magnet in one not long ago for a pizza place, Domino's, and the phone number didn't have an area code. Edit, this is referencing that I've had the magnet since before area codes were implemented, not that they just didn't put one on there, but they, nor anyone, had or even knew what an area code was. Those felt circles for the bottoms of chairs. But you never have enough of any size to complete a set. A set of Allen wrenches that is missing the two most common sizes but has duplicates of the ones you will never use. Cleaning cloths that come with every new pair of sunglasses or screen protector. No longer sticky post-its with random phone numbers and no names or a date and appointment time but not the appointment location. A ball of rubber bands off asparagus. A mess of bits of string. A box of matches with the strike worn off. Half a candle. Solid super glue. Random buttons. Mystery chargers. A bunch of pencil stubs. And it's all slightly sticky. About four rolls of different tape that are never actually in the junk drawer when you need them. Keys, especially if you don't remember what they unlock or if they were already in the junk drawer before you moved in. Might be late to this, but the scent. Every junk drawer has it. From decaying batteries to worn out rubber bands, random screws, and nails, an old matchbook. Once you've opened one, you know what I'm talking about. A random deck of old playing cards. Twisty ties. At least two pens, one matchbook, tape, some sort of glue, scratch pad, random batteries, 9V, 20, 32, 13, one random food item, like a single Cheerio or an uncooked rotini that nobody throws out. Pencils with the erasers all gone that can't be sharpened without shattering the lead. Important mail from a while ago that you searched everywhere for to pay a fine slash bill but couldn't find no matter how hard you looked. Lots of thin, crappy rubber bands. Old toys, pennies, packets of seeds, long lost tools. A tape measure, scissors, and duct tape. Calculator. Loose single serving sauce packets from various takeout slash delivery places. Remotes for unknown electronics. Perhaps, 
left over from the early 2000s. Really unique, plastic piece that must have fallen off of something and is probably important to whatever is missing the piece which you're pretty sure you'll recognize where it goes as soon as you figure out where it came from. Oh, and a hidden thumbtack you always stab your finger on when looking for a pen. Old markers that are dried out then put directly back in the drawer. Expired coupons. Allen keys. Random condiment packets. One marble, an odd number of thumbtacks no greater than seven total, a pair of scissors, and the wrong phone charger. Assorted batteries, keys of forgotten origin, a gum wrapper, measuring tape, dull scissors, loose change of various countries, bottle opener keychain from a defunct radio station, at least one Allen wrench, scratched sunglasses, notepad, partially desiccated Sharpa pen, one good ballpoint pen among five other inferior pens, a broken pencil, several receipts shoved in the back, a replacement debit card that you forgot to activate and now it's too late and the bank already sent another one but, you're afraid to throw this one away. The one goddamn thing that's preventing the drawer from fully opening. Assorted lengths of wire. Doesn't sit on track quite right. Wooden chopsticks still in the wrapper and napkins from the same restaurant just in case you run out of paper towels and need a dusty drawer napkin. Paper clips. Bottom must be covered in random nuts, bolts, nails, push pins, and picture hanging crap. Old candy canes that are at least two to three years old. Taco Bell sauce packets. Small widgets you can't identify for the life of you. A surprising number of those. A single butter knife. Take out menus with outdated prices and phone numbers. Some of the restaurants must also be closed entirely now. Several batteries. Half of them must be dead. At least one must be partially corroded. A few pens. Some don't work. There are no caps. At least one soda or beer can tap, for some reason. Single keys you have no memory of. Old car. Lock box. Secret money box. No fucking idea, because you didn't label them in any way. At least one utility bill, from like six years ago. A phone number written on an envelope. No name, just the number. Matches. There may be a box, but most of the matches are loose in the drawer. A couple lighters, even if you don't smoke. An old, dried out lip balm. Having read over the responses, I think you have missed the purpose of a junk drawer. You see, it doesn't matter what goes into a junk drawer. You will never check it and you will never remember that you put a special item that was clearly designed for a junk drawer in said drawer. It is a place for things to be forgotten so in the end what those things are don't matter. What matters is that in your heart, you know there is stuff there and when you put more stuff into the drawer you know you are never going to see it again. A single rubber band. Aside from the junk, what creates the weird odor? Chapsticks over and over again. Thumbtacks, batteries, jeweler's screwdrivers rubber bands. A prescription pill bottle filled with assorted screws and bolts, but never the one you need. Apart from something. And if it's ever thrown away you'll realize where it belonged and why. But only after the sanitation workers have spirited it away. Soy and duck sauce packets. Several books of matches from clubs, bars, restaurants that have been closed over 20 years. You have to barely be able to open it and have at least five items you never put there, you don't know how it got there, and don't know what it is. Chinese takeout menus, dead. Batteries many 9V, broken pencils, one chopstick, rusty metal can opener, loose change, from countries that aren't yours, stamps, elastic bands, plastic bread clips, 
outdated frayed cord AC multi-adapters, smoke alarm that should be on the ceiling, never before read instruction manuals, warranty manuals, tape but only electrical not the kind you actually need, calculator whose solar charge display rarely works, broken crayons, colored pencil shavings, a single wing nut, buttons in a little baggy, single two short shoelace for a winter boot, RGB cables for a CRT TV from 1997, RF slash cable splitter, a couple Roberts and screws, and coupons for now defunct a grocery store. A drawer organizer that is grossly misused. Several charging cords you have no idea what they go to. USB slash wall adapters from various devices are always in there until you open the drawer to get one. Then they're nowhere in the house. Handheld spring-loaded nut crackers. The tops of all the packages you've snipped with the scissors and closed without trashing them. Five mini bottles of crazy glue. All with a little bit of glue left, just in case. Also all glued shut and now entirely useless. Random keys to long forgotten locks. Expired prescription. A Nokia 3310. This belongs here. Batteries that may be new, may be half used, or may be extremely dead. Also mystery keys to mystery locks. Most probably locks you've never had. Somehow, the keys show up and they move with you from home to home. Allsp sauce packets and chip clips. Old Rando Phillips screwdriver that you've inherited from the past homeowner to determine that the drawer which you found it would now be the junk drawer. One of those screwdrivers within a screwdriver within a screwdriver. The nesting doll screwdriver if you will. Take out menus. Several novelty notepads. Staples. Not a stapler. Not staples for the staple gun we need to hang something on the walls with. Not even staples for a stapler. Used, folded, sometimes even rusted staples. Who is putting them in here? A wax candlestick, disintegrating rubber bands, twisty ties, utility scissors, a forgotten package of hardware from some device. Junk. Matchbook. A lot of pencils. Like. 32 pencils. Ketchup packets and slash or honey mustard tubs. The oldest, grimiest, and most used Apple earbuds in the world. Used masks from now onwards. Some old ass test paper that you could have thrown away a month ago but didn't out of pure laziness. Birthday candles. Leftover coins from vacation to another country. Out of package batteries so you have no idea if they're dead or still good. An Allen wrench, preferably from Ikea. The entirety of the bottom of the drawer must be lined with pins and tacks. Can't be a proper junk drawer if you don't run the risk of stabbing yourself every time you put your hand in it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.